The Norte del Valley Cartel, Spanish, Cartel del Norte del Valley, or North Valley Cartel, was a drug cartel that operated principally in the north of the Valley del Cauca Department of Colombia. It rose to prominence during the second half of the 1990s, after the Cali and Medellin cartels fragmented, and it was known as one of the most powerful organizations in the illegal drug trade. The drug cartel was led by the brothers Luis Enrique and Javier Antonio Cale Cerna, alias Los Comba, until its takedown in 2012 by the authorities of the United States. History It is alleged that the Norte del Valley cartel was formed after an event where the brothers Miguel Rodriguez Orjuela and Gilberto Rodriguez Orjuela, leaders of the Cali cartel, came to an agreement with the Colombian government that if they surrendered themselves and their organization to the Colombian justice system they would be given perks, such as imprisonment in Colombian prisons for not more than five years and the promise of no expropriation of their substantial assets. It is stated that they organized a meeting with their lieutenants, main subordinates, and junior partners in the business, to inform them that the decision had already been taken to stop all the illicit business immediately. Those members who refused this sudden dissolution, including Carlos Alberto Renteria Mantilla, Juan Carlos Ortiz Escobar, Juan Carlos Ramirez Abadia, Diego Leon Montoya Sanchez, and Orlando Hanau Montoya, formed the North Valley Cartel. Known members Its members were Jose Orlando Hanau Montoya alias El Hombre Overall, the Overall Man, Colonel Danilo Gonzalez, Ivan Ordinola Grijales alias El Inano, the Dwarf Efrain Hernandez Ramirez Don Efra, Mr. Efra, Andres Lopez Lopez Florcita, Flower It, Archangel to Jesus Hanau Montoya El Mocho, Middle brother of Orlando Hanau, Lorena Hanau Montoya La Viuda de la Mafia, the Mafia widow, sister of Orlando Hanau, Wilbur Alirio Varela Fajardo, Jabon, Soap, Diego Leon Montoya Sanchez Don Diego, Mr. Diego, Juan Carlos Ramirez Abadia Chupeta, Lollipop, Luis Hernando Gomez Bustamante Razguno, Scratch, Victor Patino Foam Galquimico, The Chemist or La Fiera, The Beast, Ex-member of Cali Cartel, Luis Alfonso Ocampo Fom Tocayo, namesake, half-brother of Victor Patino, Carlos Alberto Renteria Mantia Beta Renteria, Ramon Alberto Quintero San Clemente RQ, Miguel Fernando Solano Don Miguelito, Mr. Miguelito, Juan Carlos Ortiz Escobar Coquilla, Blade, and Jorge Elias Arasprilla, El Negro Asprilla. Activities according to Diego Montoya's Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI profile, the U.S. government accuses him of being involved in the willing production and distribution of multiple tons of cocaine into the United States. It also considers him and his organization as heavily relying on violence and joining the protection of both right-wing and left-wing illegal armed groups classified as terrorist organizations by the U.S. government. According to a 2004 U.S. government racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations act RICO indictment, between 1990 and 2004, the Norte del Valley cartel exported more than 1.2 million pounds, or 500 metric tons of cocaine worth in excess of $10 billion from Colombia to Mexico and ultimately to the United States for resale. The indictment charges that the Norte del Valley cartel used violence and brutality to further its goals, including the murder of rivals, individuals who failed to pay for cocaine, and associates who were believed to be working as informants. The indictment alleges that the cartel members employed the services of the United Self-Defense Forces of Colombia, AUC, a right-wing paramilitary organization internationally classified as terrorists, to protect the cartel's drug routes, its drug laboratories, and its members and associates. The AUC is one of the 37 foreign terrorist organizations identified by the U.S. State Department in 2004. Leaders of the Norte del Valley cartel allegedly bribed and corrupted Colombian law enforcement and Colombian legislators to, among other things, attempt to block the extradition of Colombian narcotics traffickers to the United States to be prosecuted for their crimes. According to the indictment, 
Members of the Norte del Valle cartel even conducted their own wiretaps in Colombia to intercept the communications of rival drug traffickers in Colombia and Colombian and United States law enforcement officials. Changes in leadership The chiefs of the Norte del Valle cartel at one time included Orlando Hanau a.k.a. El Hombre del Overall, the Overall Man, Montiguez Franco a.k.a. Monty, Diego Leon Montoya Sanchez, a.k.a. Don Diego, Wilbur Varela, a.k.a. Javan, Soap, and Juan Carlos Ramirez Abadia, a.k.a. Chupeta, Lollipop. Until his capture in late 2007 Diego Montoya was part of the list containing the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives. Fierce rivalries that divided the cartel into warring factions erupted in 2003 when Hernando Gomez, Wilbur Varela and their inner circle, prompted by a rising number of extradition of cartel members to the United States, apparently attempted to negotiate a possible surrender deal with the Drug Enforcement Administration. DEA, in a move which was strongly rejected by Diego Montoya and several of the other cartel drug lords. After a failed hit on Varela left him in the hospital with multiple gunshots, Varela declared war on Diego Montoya who he held responsible for the attack. This situation led to a brutal gang warfare, which left a death toll of more than 1,000 people between 2003 and 2004 throughout different northern locations of the Valley del Cauca department. The consequences of such an internal vendetta led Colombian authorities to intervene in order to increase law enforcement efforts against the cartel, which resulted in the 2004 arrest of some 100 assassins in the employ of both rival factions, and in the 2005 capture of Varela's close associate Julio Cesar Lopez, alias Ojitos, or Small Eyes and Montoya's chief hatchet man, Carlos José Rabeo Escobar, alias Guacameo, or McCaw, among others. On June 4, 2008 Julio Cesar Lopez was sentenced to 45 years in federal prison by a federal court in New York. More than $100 million worth in properties and luxury assets was also seized, along with an almost complete fiberglass narco submarine that would have been built by the cartel in order to smuggle drugs into the United States and other foreign countries. All of these events may have influenced several members of the Norte del Valle cartel to seek a deal with Colombian and U.S. drug enforcement authorities during late 2004 and early 2005, whether through direct negotiation proposals or employing the possible protection that they may gain through the infiltration of the AUC's then ongoing peace negotiations with the Colombian government. Diego Montoya was captured in Colombia on September 10, 2007. Wilbur Varela was killed in the Venezuelan city of Merida. Cartel arrests The Norte del Valle cartel is believed to be the single most powerful existing cartel in Colombia with exception of the smaller North Coast cartel, the FARC Marxist guerrilla, and the right-wing paramilitary group AUC. Due to their violent warfare that left more than 1,000 people dead between 2003 and 2004, the Colombian government with support of the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, FBI, and U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement have pursued the cartel heavily for over four years. 2003-2004 The first significant blow to be dealt to the Norte del Valle cartel's internal membership came with the arrest of Juan Carlos Montoya Sanchez, brother to top Norte del Valle boss Diego Montoya. Juan Carlos was arrested in December 2003 in Colombia and extradited to the United States two years later on May 4, 2005 where he was sentenced to 262 months in prison for drug trafficking and money laundering. He was believed to be responsible for overseeing the cartel's cocaine laboratories. Along with Juan Carlos, Carlos Felipe Toro Sanchez, alias Pipe, was arrested. Carlos Felipe was believed to be responsible for overseeing the drug shipments of cocaine to their destination in the U.S., Mexico, and Europe. Carlos Felipe was extradited to the United States 10 days before Juan Carlos, on April 25, 2005. The following month after the capture of Juan Carlos came the arrest of Jose Dagoberto Flores Rios whose alias is Schuma. Jose Dagoberto 
who is the top lieutenant to Archangel Henao Montoya, was arrested in January 2004 in Colombia and later extradited to the United States where he is in custody in New York. In 2004, four additional captures occurred of Norte del Valley hierarchy. The capture of Archangel Henao Montoya, also known as El Mocho, the amputee, was a top leader of the cartel. Archangel was arrested on January 10, 2004, in Panama and extradited to New York. In July 2004 Luis Hernando Gomez Bustamante, alias Rasguno, Scratch, one of the founders and top leaders of the cartel, was arrested on July 2, 2004, trying to enter Cuba on a false passport. He was held in Cuba awaiting extradition to Colombia and ultimately to the U.S. in March 2004. The Colombian government seized properties belonging to Bustamante in excess of $100 million. He would not be extradited to the United States for over three years. Gabriel Paeira Para, alias, El Doctor, the doctor, was arrested on October 7, 2004 near Bogota, Colombia. Gabriel Paeiro was an attorney and counselor to the Norte del Valley cartel. He acted as a highly respected intermediary between the Norte del Valley cartel and major Mexican cartels, assisted in resolving disputes within the cartel and influencing the Colombian government with extradition matters. He invested his own money in drug shipments and facilitated money laundering operations through front companies he owned and set up for the cartel, as well as acquiring local and international real estate to launder the cartel's illegal proceeds. 2005-2006 Arrests continued throughout 2005 as Jose Aldemar Rendon Ramirez, alias, Michaz, was arrested by Colombian authorities on July 15, 2005. Jose Aldemar operated as a financial officer within the Norte del Valley cartel, responsible for the launder of its illegal proceeds. Johnny Cano Correa, alias Fleca, Arrow, was arrested later the year on October 29, 2005. Johnny Cano operated as a chief of security for Luis Hernando Gomez Bustamante. He was responsible for ensuring the security of cocaine processing laboratories, drug shipments, and murdering rivals. He was eventually extradited to the United States in September 2006. Following the capture of Luis Hernando Gomez Bustamante and his chief of security, Johnny Cano, came the capture of Bustamante's lieutenant, Jamie Maya Duran, alias Alejandro. Following Bustamante's arrest, Duran assumed more responsibility within the cartel. He was captured in Mexico in September 2006 and shortly after extradited to the United States. The following month brought the capture of Orlando Sabo Gauzuluaga, alias Alberto, another high-ranking lieutenant to Luis Hernando Gomez Bustamante on October 31, 2006 in a shopping mall in Spain. 2007 and 2007 five members of the cartel were captured, Eugenio Montoya Sanchez, alias, Don Hugo, younger brother to top cartel boss Diego Montoya, was arrested January 15, 2007, in the cartel's stronghold town of El Novio. It is believed Eugenio took over his brother's major operations to allow his brother to remain at large from Colombian and U.S. authorities. February 2007 brought about the extradition of Luis Hernando Gomez Bustamante, arrested years prior. Bustamante was extradited to Colombia from Cuba on July 20, 2007. He was then handed over to DEA agents in Bogota for transport to the United States. Bustamante reportedly offered to cooperate with U.S. authorities in exchange for protection after receiving numerous death threats while in Colombian custody. February also led to the capture of Loriano Renteria, right-hand man to Juan Carlos Ramirez Abadia. Loriano Renteria was detained at one of Ramirez's stash houses containing $19 million. He tried convincing authorities he was a simple construction worker hired to remodel the house and accepted a plea deal to 44 months in prison. 
While in prison, an informant in New York revealed he was Ramirez's confidant who protected Ramirez during their six year prison term served in a Colombia during the 1990s. Laureano Renteria was responsible for managing Ramirez's financial structure, including the stash house logistics and bribing of high Colombian government officials. When the DEA learned of this information, they had the Colombian authorities transfer Renteria to a maximum security prison to await a speedy extradition to the U.S. On February 27, 2007, the extradition order was to be served, but authorities found Renteria dead in his cell due to cyanide poisoning. His death went unsolved. But Ramirez is suspected to have ordered the hit to prevent him from revealing vital cartel secrets. On February 25, 2007, Eduardo Restrepo Victoria, also known as El Socio, was arrested in Colombia. It is believed that Eduardo is the right-hand man and the partner of the cartel leader, Wilbur Varela. On September 7, 2006, Colombian police seized 65 rest repul properties in the cities of Bogota, Cali and no state of Tolima valued at more than US$25 million. Henry Loaiza Sabalios, El Alacran, The Scorpion. When he was captured and extradited, Restrepo assumed its operations in partnership with Varela.23 the month following the capture of Juan Carlos Ramirez Abudia, incidentally, Chupeta, one of the main masters of Cartel Norte del Valle. In January 2007, four separate raids of Ramirez's houses in the city of Cali, Colombia. Ramirez was arrested in Brazil on August 7, 2007.24 Ramirez was extradited by Brazil to the United States on Friday, August 22, 2008. Diego Leon Montoya Sanchez, alias Don Diego, El Senor de la Guerra, the warlord, was arrested on September 10, 2007, at 8.20 a.m. in a rural farmhouse in Valley, Colombia. Montoya was believed to be the top leader of the Norte del Valle cartel. The arrest of Diego Leon ends the Montoya clan's claim in drug trafficking, with Juan Carlos Montoya Sanchez serving a 262-month prison term in the United States and his younger brother Eugenio Montoya Sanchez detained in a maximum security prison in Colombia awaiting extradition. After news of Montoya's arrest, Colombian defense minister claimed his extradition to the U.S. was inevitable. He was extradited to Miami on December 12, 2008. 2008 The Colombian and U.S. governments were targeting Wilbur Varela, believing he would try to take over Montoya's business as well and possibly start another war with the emerging leaders. However, Varela was found murdered on January 30th. 2008, in a hotel resort in the state of Merida in Venezuela. Colombian authorities believe he was murdered by his own men on orders of jailed paramilitary drug lord Carlos Mario Jimenez alias Macaco to end Varela's power struggle in the rival city Medellin and surrounding areas in Antioquia. Jimenez was later extradited to the United States on May 7, 2008 for failing to meet the terms of his surrender and for continuing to run his criminal organization in prison. 2009-2010 On June 1, 2009, Aldemar Alvarez Tabers alias Pelin, the supposed successor of Bustamante, was arrested in Cali. Ramon Quintero San Clemente alias RQ or Lucas an old guard high-ranking member of the cartel, was arrested in Quito, Ecuador, and immediately deported to Colombia. Quintero is now being held in the Comita Maximum Security Prison, awaiting extradition proceedings to the United States. Quintero was one of the ten most wanted DEA drug traffickers in the world, and he had a reward for his capture, valued up to $5 million. Quintero was accused of being one of the last leaders of the NVC organization, and also of trafficking large amounts of cocaine through Mexico using his Mexican cartel connections, partners. Some reports claim that his organization was moving up to 50 metric tons per year to the United States and Europe. The formal request for extradition was submitted by the United States in July 2009.
The case was prosecuted by Assistant U.S. Attorneys Bonnie S. Clapper and Walter M. Norkin in the Eastern District of New York. Columbia's Supreme Court approved Quintero's extradition on June 28, 2011. He was extradited on December 12, 2011. On November 21, 2012, South Florida Judge William P. Dimitro Lee sentenced Quintero to 210 months, 17 years, in federal prison on charges of conspiring to import cocaine to the United States. Future Diego Montoya's arrest and Wilbur Varela's murder closed a chapter in Colombia's war on drugs. However, Colombian and U.S. officials have identified the remaining cartel members that may fight for leadership of the organization. Authorities have identified the following targets as possible successors for both the Montoya and Varela organization. As a preventive initiative, the Colombian government has issued arrest warrants for all these men before they can organize and restructure the cartel. Close to $250,000 is being offered for information leading to the arrest of each suspect. All suspects have extradition requests from the United States. Los Machos, Diego Montoya Organization Los Machos is a Colombian drug trafficking paramilitary organization. The group started as Montoya's security force. Oscar Varel Garcia alias Copacivo is posed as the most likely candidate to assume leadership. 54-year-old Varela, along with the Rabeo brothers, has control of Montoya's security force of Los Machos. Varela started his career as a hitman with Wilbur Varela for the late drug baron Orlando Hanau Montoya. Varela remained friends with Wilbur Varela until he sided with Montoya during the montoya Varela War. Oscar Varela's name became known after he organized the Jamundi Massacre, where 10 investigative agents were murdered by a corrupt military unit. On July 5, 2008, Varela was captured by Colombian authorities in a farmhouse in Palmira, Valley del Cauca. The operation was during the early morning where Varela was captured while he was sleeping in his underwear with his girlfriend. Jorge Erdinola Peria alias La Iguana. The Iguana is another potential candidate. Erdinola is 42 years old and is cousin to the late drug baron Ivan Erdinola Grahales. He owns and operates many drug laboratories in the cartel's stronghold of the Canon of Garapatas and in the Colombian state of Choco. He is also the current leader of Diego Montoya's private army and hit squad, Los Machos. If Erdinola assumes control, his brother Hilbert Erdinola Peria alias, Don H., Mr. H., will also co-lead. On June 25, 2008, Jorge Erdinola Peria was captured by Colombian authorities in Zarzal, Valley del Cauce. The fourth possible candidate was 39-year-old Gildardo Rodriguez Herrera alias, El Senor de la Camisa, the man of the shirt. He started his career as a leftist guerrilla and after spending 10 years at Montoya's side, he learned the trade. He also managed Montoya's security forces of Los Machos. After Montoya's arrest, Gildardo was starting to gain strength until Colombian authorities captured him on May 16, 2008, in a farmhouse in the Colombian state of Cundinamarca. The arrest was made possible on information provided by an informant who was paid the reward money. Los Rastrajos, Wilbur Varela Organization Los Rastrajos was a Colombian drug trafficking paramilitary organization. The group was formed by Norte del Valle cartel Capa Wilbur Varela, alias, Javan and one of his right-hand men. Diego Rastrojo, around 2004 when Varela fell out with fellow CAPO Diego Leon Montoya, alias, Don Diego. The group became independent after the murder of its main founder in Venezuela in 2008 and has since become one of the most important drug trafficking organization in Colombia. Authorities now believe Wilbur Varela's main captains Diego Perez Henao alias, Diego Rastrojo and Luis Enrique Calle alias, Combatiente, Combatant, conspired with AUC Commander Carlos Mario Jimenez alias, Macaco, to murder Varela. With the murder of Varela, 
Jimenez consolidated himself as the maximum authority in drug trafficking in Colombia controlling the drug trade in 10 Colombian states and having authority over the cartel. His control lasted until his extradition in 2008. Luis Enrique Calle's rise to power will include his brother Javier Antonio Calle. Together they operated Varela's drug laboratories and oversaw transportation through their control drug routes. Under Jimenez's conditions, the Varel organization was to leave any interest in Medellin and Antioquia and share power between Hanau and the Colony Brothers. Other Varel organization members of interest include Yomer Humberto Quintero, alias Cabezon, Big Head, Ramon Quintero San Clemente, alias Lucas, arrested in Ecuador on April 2010, deported to Colombia for extradition proceedings to the United States, Jamie Humberto Palomino, alias Piernas Locas. Crazy Legs, Roberto Landol Novelas, Jamie Alberto Marin Zamora alias Bido. Bido was captured in Venezuela in 2010, Jose Ignacio Bedoya Velez, and Diego Perez Henao's brother Wilmar Perez Henao. Longtime Varel partner Ramon Quintero is suspected of being the most powerful and experienced target but is suspected of being at war with Diego Perez Henao over a $10 million dispute. Gilmer Humberto Quintero was found dead inside a police station bathroom with a shot in the head. Apparently, he committed suicide with a .25 caliber pistol he had hidden from police when he was captured June 14, 2008. North Valley Remnants, Ramirez Abadia Organization After Loriano Renteria's mysterious murder in his jail cell and the capture of Juan Carlos Ramirez Abadia in Brazil, authorities identified Aldemar Rojas Mascara as the most likely inheritor of Ramirez's organization. See also Cali Cartel El Cartel, TV series Illegal Drug Trade in Colombia Medellin Cartel Perp Walk the Snitch Cartel References